want out in uh, the western part of the state with the Dakota Access Pipeline. We do not support either position. We wish to remain neutral. But the veteran group calling themselves the Veteran Stand for Standing Rock are planning to assemble in North Dakota December 7th, 2016 to protest the Dakota Access Pipeline. The organization has reached out to veterans and veteran service organizations in North Dakota to obtain their support and assist in the recruitment of veterans to protest. The BSSR plans to assemble in platoons and company formations at the front of the line to face what they have identified as their enemy and opposing forces, the Morton County Sheriff's Office and multiple state police agencies. In an extended conflict, the veterans plan to wear partial but not full military uniforms, as well as body armor, protective masks, and military head cover. The groups that they are here, the group states that they are here to protest peacefully. North Dakota veterans organizations have been contacted by the BSSR and we have refused to support the assembly of veterans or to assist in the recruiting of veterans from North Dakota. Instead, the North Dakota Veterans Organizations have communicated with the BSSR that they oppose their deployment to North Dakota, and we have reached out to the veterans asking them to not participate. All military members take an oath to defend the U.S. Constitution from all enemies foreign and domestic. They all fight for and defend our country and our way of life. They defend and respect the American flag and treat it with the respect that it deserves. As veterans, we continue to serve our nation and to uphold the oaths and commitments that we made and that we have fought for. We agree that it is our constitutional right to assemble and to peacefully protest. However, protests over the last 100 plus days in North Dakota have been less than peaceful. The DAPL protesters have cost our state over $10 million and have caused millions of dollars in damage to vehicles, equipment, property, and livestock owned by private corporations, citizens, family farms, and government agencies. Slaughtering livestock, throwing Molotov cocktails, and assaulting law enforcement is not the military manner in which our veterans behave and not the kind of assembly and actions that veterans should be taking part in. Part participating in this kind of assembly, even as a peaceful bystander or participant, will only mar the image of the North Dakota veterans and the veterans of our nation. Opponents to the DAPL have defaced the North Dakota pillar of the World War II monument located on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. and defaced the North Dakota State Capitol. It is degrading to a veteran to see the American flag disgraced and improperly displayed and disrespected. This has been happening on 
happening daily at the DAPL protest sites. Standing by those who conduct or have conducted this type of behavior cannot instill a good image up on our veterans or our veteran community. The BSSR decision to involve themselves with this unlawful activity is unnecessary, disgraceful, and not reflective of the veteran community. Their intention is to protest on December 7th at the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. It is an insult to the few remaining World War II veterans of North Dakota. For these reasons and more, the North Dakota Veterans Coordinating Council, which is made up of the American Legion, AMVETS, disabled American veterans, veterans of foreign wars, and the Vietnam Veterans of America, adamantly oppose anyone representing themselves as a U.S. military veteran or a veterans organization to associate or involve themselves in any illegal activities that have occurred or to take partake in any part of any unlawful or unbecoming conduct or, some, or assembly in protest to the DAPL. The Vet Veterans Coordinating Council also urges the Veterans and Veterans Organization of North Dakota to stay clear of these activities and these assemblies involving the DAPL in support of neither the protesters nor law enforcement as adding more people to the situation and that area only creates more tension and increases the burden on law enforcement and military forces on the ground and I will be available for conduct and at this time I will entertain any questions have you spoken with any of these outside veterans groups? Yes, we have. We what, have been in contact with them. What are, have, what are they telling you? We, we, well, we have sent them a letter telling them that we oppose them coming here, but uh, they intend on coming anyhow. And, uh, but we, <coughs> we would like to meet with them prior to them going out there and we would we, we we want to encourage them to contact the law enforcement agencies out there in the morton county sheriff's department before they do anything out there do you think this is a matter of a lot of misinformation reaching outside of north dakota that's prompting them to move here Come? i think it's a lot of misinformation that has gotten out and uh, we have indicated that uh, we do believe that they have been misinformed. But we have also stated to them that their actions as veterans are not supported by the veterans of North Dakota. Do you find your opinion or uh, your stance on this as a minority or as a majority nationwide or as far as you can tell? Well, uh, Looking at the way things have gone nationwide and everything, uh, I would say we we're, we're probably in a minority, but it is my firm belief that as a veteran and uh, the veterans of the United States would stand with us and not associate themselves with a group that would be based uh, memorials and the Capitol grounds and, and to blatantly disrespect the American flag. Will you be holding any counter protests or rallies against the veterans? Uh, no, we are not going to hold any protests. This is this this is what we are saying is our press release that we don't we we're, we're not standing in support of either side of the issue we do say 
Everybody has a right to protest, but to protest peacefully. Not create damage to property and and, and, and to attack law enforcement, which is trying to maintain uh, peace and calm out there. 2,000 people, is that about the right number that you're hearing, or uh, is that a low number or a high number on what you think will well, turn up? Well, we're hearing, we're, hearing, we're hearing about 2,000 or so, and, you know, we, we, we don't need that many coming in, and as, as we said, putting disrespect on veterans because... As a veteran, they have sworn an oath to uphold the Constitution and to fight against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I, for one, and these gentlemen behind me, will not violate that oath. Do you think you will be able to influence things on the floor at all? Well, we're hoping to influence them and and everything, and hope that uh, if they do come, they will be respectful. If not, we want it understood. These are not North Dakota veterans, and they do not represent the veterans of North Dakota. And we are encouraging all of our people not to go out there. I have not heard of anyone from any of our organizations going out there. Any idea who is behind this drive to get veterans to protest? Uh, where, where's that coming from? I'm, I am not sure exactly where it is coming from. Uh, the, leaders, the leaders of the group are uh, Wesley Clark Jr., the son of General Wesley Clark, and a gentleman named Keith Gibbs and Michael Wood Jr. Now, as I say, we have reached out to these individuals with a letter asking them to not come to North Dakota and misrepresent veterans and what veterans stand for. Well, when you say misrepresent veterans, you're not talking about a peaceful protest, you're talking about the breaking the law and that type of stuff? Yes. As I have stated, we believe in the right to peacefully protest, but to blatantly break laws and destroy property. We do not condone that. How do you suggest to remember two peacefully? Pardon? How do you suggest that remember two peacefully? Well, hopefully, uh, I mean, I, knowing, knowing my people and everything, uh, they will respect the wishes of the coordinating council and will not go out and disrespect the flag or their uniform or the United States. I realize not everyone would Okay, <laughs> but they uh, take in, uh, you know, it's their right to peacefully protest, but we would like them to stay away. I mean, we've got a new legislative session coming up and, you know, we don't want the, we, we want the legislators to understand these are not North Dakota veterans doing this. And please don't punish the North Dakota veteran for what someone else outside 
of our state comes in and does. By the way, how many members does your coordinated council represent? You know, those organizations added together, how many veterans are there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five to sixty thousand. That, that would be pretty much every veteran in the state, I believe. Yes. Okay. Does your organization take a stance on the pipeline issue itself? No. no. Is it a is it a topic of a lot of interest conversation? It has been a topic of interest and in everything, but we feel it's mm -hmm. not our place to take a position on it. That's why we don't support either side. I mean, the one thing that we have fought for all of our lives is the right for someone to have their own opinion. And we do not want to step on anybody's rights.